being proud to be black is just being appreciative and acknowledging how far we've come and to be the living embodiment of our predecessors and what they couldn't do. My name is Yasmin Panzita Thomas. I'm a celebrity writer for Closer Magazine. My great grandmother is a big inspiration to me and someone that, you know, has always made me be proud of who I am. She is Windrush generation, so she came here on her own. Probably one of the biggest reasons why I'm here today. Before she passed away, she gave me this ring, which I never take off. My partner sadly passed away, um, coming up to four years now. His mom is probably one of the strongest people I know. To have your child being taken away from you in the circumstances of what it was, was, you know, it was horrible. And not a lot of people come back from that. And she managed to keep that all together and keep her family together, as well as fight for justice for her son. I try and have my mom's perseverance. I try and have my great grandmother's determination. I try and have my grandmother's optimism. And I try and have my partner's mom's strength. The world wouldn't be what it is without black people and black culture. And unfortunately, sometimes we don't get, we don't get the recognition that we, we, we should get. Being proud to be black to me is just, I feel like I'm a physical, representation of, you know, the trials and tribulations that black people as a whole have had. I think being black is hard, but being a woman on top of that is even harder. Civil rights was at the same time as, you know, women empowerment and black women had to make a choice between fighting for their womanhood or fighting to be being black. And black women primarily chose chose the avenue of, you know, civil rights. And I feel like as, you know, Malcolm X quoted, the most disrespected woman in the world is the black woman. We don't get the same opportunities. We're portrayed in a negative way. There's a stereotype of the angry black female. I don't feel like that's fair and I don't feel like it's true either. With up and coming young black people, they just got to just got to keep their head up, keep persevering and keep pushing. As cliche as it sounds, things are always all right at the end. And if it's not all right yet, then it means that we're not at the end yet.